niwaambie mnafikiria nyenye ni mabwe nyanya tukaonyesha Kuna karaoke, mina ste kijiji na jita mukuru kwa njenga. Enyewe yimta yetu, siyezi sema ni mta poa, but na fry ya kuwa apa because na na itaji kume kile change ambayo na itaji kapa. Moja zile shida tunaishi ni kuamba atuna maji, unapata pia stima ni noma. Na kitu kine pia ni in terms of security, mazizi shamba na big fish wana kama wana kile mkoma ni yao kisikia mtu wata akitembea enje usiku wama gari kipita atakani ya kwenda kukunga mchanga unamuka wapengine waneza kuwa mwakamia naitua Elizabeth Wangare ni maishi mkuru maisha yangu yote kutoka nizaliwe ni mekua mwajawa even kudemolishua ni balozi tuko tunaka balozi mkuru mariko inesti kambano so ni meka mkuru life yangu yote Kenya na chukia sana kuhusu mukuru ni kuwa hatuji kuhusu kesho hujui venye tutamuka tupate mukuru kwa aji ama itademolishiwa na hatujui kesho tutamuka tuishi wapi hatuna land ingine sisi tunajua mukuru ndi home because tumeishi hapo forever last year tu kuna wase wali kama hapa hivi ya ya mabuldoza ya ni unacheki wata wali demolish manyumba ya na pia tuka lose kwa mabijana hata beshte yangu moja hapo wali die mukuru wezi jua because if I remember to keep them on the short to keep our balloons, it will be car. Nje, two days. We don't know where to go. Amani wapi muna irekia. Yani nakani kama una do, una anything, una place ya kurent, una still to have. Kuhama, because tulia mshua kitu five. Na watu wa kipuja na mavitu, gava, wezi fight, uko week, na vini kani. Ah, fala. Hahaha. Mazee kuna madem type B league yato, kuna magrimba na kuna ma innocent. Kufind out ni blanda kwa zaka me dunga hivi. Let me find out for myself. Check it, check it, check it, please, check it, check it. Manza ni spenangi historia, atibui wa geto wa nakatia demu. Unakatia demu na ato imwenye ujiwezi. Manza jio maboy, tuchanukeni. First of all, nitafuta fichi ya kukwanza. So tiza madem zita kamba dae. Manza jio, tuchanukeni. Leo tumekuja kutembelea mavijana wa mkuru. Tumetoka Akiba Mashinani Trust. Iyo ni organization ambayo inafanya kazi na mungano wa na vijiji. Mungano wa na vijiji ni organization ambayo imefomiwa na watu ambao wanaishi katika slums Kenya mzima. Sasa sisi tunakujana tunasaidia watu eh, kuta, kutafuta mahali pa kukaa na kujenga makao ya kudumu. Tumekuja kuona watu wengi pia mavijana wa join hizi vikundi. That's why tumekuja kumwongelesha kama vijana. Kitu mnafaa kufanya ni kujitolea na kuamini unaweza save. Muungano hiyo ndio kujijenga. Na kujenga nyumba yetu ya kudumu. Sasa chenye nigetaka kumuambia, hii muradi tutianza tuusewe. Tukajipe nguvu, tukaendelea, tukaendelea. Mpaka hapa tuko sahi. Ni kama tumekalia kwa nyumba. Juga nenu, mupate makawa ya kudumu. Hapa naona hamu taka mwaka humpi ya kuona nyumba. Na hile zampo tutataka. Musifikisha hile miyaka yetu tukonae. Unawa kuna pari pa metorewa pao pao. Kiangalia hapa kuna watu ya kuna pao pao. Kuna watu ya kuna dhati. Wana vijiji hakuwa vina pesa. Aswa liangu ilikuwa ni kuuliza hivi. Mkipata hii land. Amukwa muna hofu ya kuwa haina title deed. Tusama kwa mfano mini kuna ka 10 by 10 kangu. Rafiki yangu kuna ka 10 by 10. Kuna wezekano vile neza pata title deed ya place ambao unakaa. What are you doing? 
for us the youth to be assured that we are going to own our own land je the government ilikuwa involved la matu mmekuwa tu mkijisimamia peke yake cuz tumesikia anga serikali iko si tumepigania uhuru ili tupate mashamba hadi wale watu jaipata shamba nini iliendelea exactly mukuru kuna issues mob kwanza kwanza story za land issues ni mob na sisi kama vijana wa mukuru kile tunafaa kufanya ni ku decide kama tuwataka tuko curious to know more about these issues of the land who owns these portions of the, the mukuru is it your attitude to come to meet them to vibanda but watu wenye wamejenga si wao wenye wanakuwa na title sasa ni nyinyi kama vijana wa mukuru muamue tunataka tuungane twende tuka tuka tukachunguza hizi mambo ni high time sisi kama mabijana wa mukuru tuchukue hiyo step tusikuwa tunaambua vision 2030 na vision 2030 ikija kufika tumezeeka na bado tunaishi slums tuanze kubomolewa tushinde police yakuenda tukarudi kocha twende to the issues of land twende kama ni kwa mzoe wa kijiji place yoyote ile tunaweza enda to make sure ya kwamba tuna get land ama ni aje because yeah. the best thing tunaweza fanya yeah. ni ku get place maze si ndio kwa hivyo tunakubaliana kwamba tumeamua ya kwamba ni sisi na ni sisi tunaanza na paka mwisho pamoja yes. 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 wa sisi pamoja wa sisi Mzee hii ni kikundi ya wana youths wenye wanaishi tu hapa hapa kwa jenga tumeungana pamoja tukuje kukuuliza kuhusu hii land wakati mliingia hapa kulikuwa na mtu yeyote alikuwa kwenye shamba katika idea hii kitu kilikuwa naendelea alisema ni wanyama na mimi nikaingia hapa tukawa wakulima, kuvuga vitu kama hiyo. Sasa kutoka miaka hiyo nimesema jue tumezaana. Napata kama Chandari anamiliki ardhi kutoka pale e, e, kuja mpaka mpaka Sigazi. Ningependa kujua kwamba hao walipataje hii shamba. Hawa walikuwa wanunua kwa kwa mefu. Sikia tulimani ni kitu walikuwa naona. Walikuwa wanunua kwa mefu. Hata unaziona hizo Chandaria amenunua kama kitu kwa hapa. Umesema mlikuwa ngapi hivi kuanzia kitambo then hakuna title D. Otif tunajua corruption ni kitu inaendelea na iko mtu akuje tu mara moja na title D then anze ku claim hii land ni yake mtaduaze hapo hakuna kitu kama hiyo sababu hiyo miaka tunakaa kama ilikuwa chapa yako ngakuja tuambia tuondoke lakini ukiangalia utoka mwaka 58 kwa hisabu mpaka sasa ni watu wangapi wamechariwa tu hapa ile shauri inaweza kushauri nyinyi nyinyi mnashauriwa na sharia nyinyi hapa na mnasomea hapa na unamalizia masomo hapa Musika kama vile mimi nakaa nikiwa na leo nyinyi na tabu. Ningependa mjaribu na nyinyi kusonga soka sababu mmezoma. Si mkae bila tunakaa umwaje kupiga watu usiku huku hapana. Sababu wewe umetosha kuona bibi. Siwezi kukupatia kupatia chakula kupatia bibi yako na watoto yako. Hapana nitaidia mwenyewe. Asante sana kwa wakati wako mzuri. Tumeenda kwa hizo ofisi zao. Kwenda tu huko, anachambonga tu magazeti. Anaangalia tu sports zinaendeleaje. Alafu na kuangalisha vibaya madharau madharau kila saa. Mimi huko kwa jumii siwezi ona tena. About the whole of hiyo area yote ya Mukuru kwa Jenga, Mukuru kwa Rubi. Hakuna area ambayo haina title deed. Watu walichukua mataito wakajua hapa watu wamejenga lakini hawana title wakaenda wakapenya huko, wakafanya ukora wote wakapata title. Sasa wako na title. Kuna shamba moja pale. Ile kwanza ile inashika mkuru kwa jenga vizuri. 100 acres chadari ya dia na title. Haya kuna watu wengine pale kama mtu alikuwa anaitwa Kamodo siku ile alikuwa mkubwa. Hiyo ni walitumia pia ukora wakapata mataito. That is the truth. Wako na mataito na walipata kwa kijiji kama watu wako ndani. Steel makers pia wako na wako na title ingine hapo 35 acres. Eh nao ndio walijaribu kubomoa the other time. Watu hapa wameshaniletea demolition ndonda wananiletea hapa wengi sana. Na mimi hii ni mimi namwambia wewe vile utafanya kwa sababu pia unapenda maisha yako. Hiyo title urudisha pale inakuwa na usahau hiyo shamba. Sababu 
wewe ukijaribu kwenda pale mimi naweza kufia pale ama we ama we na ndio kwa maana hii watu wengine wao sasa ile wanataka kufukuza watu wana they go behind my back wanaendaga nyumba yangu wanaenda kotini wanapata demolition order hizo order pia zingine hazikui genuine watu wanakujanga wanahongana alafu pia saida wanastaki watu kotini hawastaki watu wale wanakaa pale huwa wanafanya ukora wanaweka tu majina kotini ati wanastaki kama ujorogi majina tu fake sasa kesi inaendelea kumbe jaji hata jua ati wale watu majina ilikuwa fake kwa hivyo kesi inaendelea ikionekana wale wamestakiwa wamekataa kuja koti kotini Sikizi itaendelea mpaka ikatwe. Hiyo ndio style moja wamekuwa wakipata court orders na. Na ndio kwa maana sasa hawataki kupeana notice. Kwa sababu mtaenda kucharge kotini, museme hawa ni akina nani mumestaki. Lakini sasa wakisha demolish itakuwa wamewashinda hata mkifanya kesi na wame demolish. Na ndio unaonanga lazima tufanye vyo vyote vile tusimamishe. Mkuu community center imenyakuliwa na jia ambaye mimi nijajaribu kupigana naye nikashindwa kwa sababu it was ilikuwa kwa majina ya watu wakaungana na kanzola yule yako pale sio kitu ya uongo kanzola atenya ndio ameungana na hiyo watu wakawasaidia wamekutumia barua kwa kanzola mpaka saa hii nasikia ni karibu hapa huko kiwanja kama ile mnaonanga huko kwa diamond pale iko shule hiyo ni kiwanja ilikuwa yangu na mwenje sasa tulipeana tuliwaachilia itumiwe na wananchi vile wanataka kwa hivyo yafaa tufanye vivyo vyote vile tuwe na public utilities na kitu ya kwanza shule hospitali hata kiwanja ya watu kuchezea mpira it is equally important kwa sababu hakuna siku utapata nyingine hizi mambo kwa tunapio hapa mheshimiwa I'm very glad to meet you all. At Independence, it was the hope of many, many Kenyans that uh, the land uh, policies of the British would be reversed. We had seen the rise of a new African bourgeoisie, middle class, through access to the state, through their political power, and our uh, political families grabbed a lot of land. The rich and the poor, the beginning of that pattern began with land grabbing. So when we in the CKRC began to think about how we change the constitution, one of the most important issues we realized was land. We felt that there had to be a redefinition of what is state land, what is private land, what is community land. So we made a number of recommendations. Some of them were taken out because the rich and the powerful people felt threatened by that. But I think enough has remained in the Constitution to enable new social policies, fair policies to be implemented. Tumwana nyewe ulitupigania sana tukapata Constitution mpya. Sika vijana tunakushukuru na tunakuthank kwa zia hiyo staff. Lakini kuna wale wasenye wamekaa kwa, kwa land as in kwa muda mrefu lakini hawana titles naona wasekaa wale squatters saa hao watadu well there is a general principle of law which applies in Kenya and if anyone family community individual uh, uh, has uh, been uh, living uh, on land uh, for 12 years minimum 12 years and nobody has challenged their right to be there or nobody has demanded rent from them and they have been living openly without any disturbance then they have a right to land so they get the title then and the constitution makes very clear that no, that if a community has been living for a long time in in some land and the land is taken away let's say by the government for a public purpose even if that community has no title they must be compensated so i think the constitution has opened up possibilities opportunities but then it is for the government and for parliament to 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 use these in the form of new laws new practices and so far 
there's not much sign of that. Thank you. Boss, in the case of Mukuru, I think what is clear is that this was public land, which means that this was land that was basically controlled by the president. In the past, uh, the president, working through the Commissioner of Lands, could allocate that land to individuals. So these guys told the government, we want to put up a, a factory in Mukuru. I've seen a number of titles saying, i put up a factory. The government then bypasses you and decides to issue the title to somebody who says they want to put up a factory. And this guy goes to a bank with that title and tells the bank, look, I have a title. Can you give me a loan? The bank gives this person 40 million, 30 million, 50 million shillings. This guy uses that money to develop another land or to develop another business. The land has been mortgaged, OK, as security. The land is being used as security for this loan. This guy doesn't pay the loan because he knows that the land is already occupied by people. OK? So after a few years, the loan um, has grown from 50 million to 100 million to 200 million. The bank wakes up and says, we won't back our money. The guy says, I don't care. Go sell, the, go sell the land, you know, because we have situations where banks are giving notices that they will sell this land. Na mimi naomba, cooperative bank, kama walikuwa na mesia mati, kuhuza skuli yetu hiko na watoto miasaba wa msini, na hiko registered polling station number eight, 
katika embakasi South Constituency sisi watuondoki hata inchi moja when the government issued that grant or those grants um, of land or those titles of land to various people there are conditions there are conditions in those grants okay some of the conditions say that you should develop the land within 24 months in other words, you should build a factory that you said you would build within 24 months. And if you fail to do that, the Commissioner of Lands has legal authority to repossess the land through a process which in law is called forfeiture. So for me, really, there are people who are exploiting the misery and the vulnerability of the you know? And those people are patched so high in the political chain or in the economic chain um, that some of them are just invisible. You don't even know them. Let me tell you the story behind this land. Okay? It's very simple. See? We running a business, so we want to expand our business, we need more land, we go looking for land. So we spoke to the government, they said yes, we have this land, they showed it to us on a map, it looked good, we discussed, we said okay, we, uh, you know how it is, it's always pressure to pay quickly. So we paid, we closed the deal, we get a receipt, and the official receipt, uh, <laughs> It's not all that we paid. Anyway, now this land, some time later we go back, we say, okay, we want to move in, we want to make it turn into some economic value. We estimated we would provide at least a thousand jobs. There would be, you know, uh, infrastructure, it would be an investment. We go to the land and we see, yes, there are people on the land. Okay, so we go back to the government, we say, according to this deal, you are supposed to deal with these issues. Uh, you know the story, nothing happens. So what do you expect us to do? We went to the bank and we said, okay, we can't use this land. We will raise some money on it and go find another piece of land and proceed. Meanwhile, you want this land. Now, what can I, what, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? We've been, we've been conned. Let me just put it that way. Now, all I can suggest the government pays us back, we pay the bank off, you take the land. That's it. One of the most complex informal settlement in Nairobi is Mukuru. If I'm able to address Mukuru problems, then all the other settlements are easy for me. You know, you're coming from Mukuru, which is zoned as industrial. Now, what stops us from changing that one to, to something else? We can change it, isn't it? But, but we have been in, in a regime where zoning is, is used mainly to protect the interest of those who have got economic and political power. We are starting a new system completely because the 1973 and 1948 master plan completely messed up the <coughs> city because it created a city of, of, of um, populations that are segregated. We decided that we segregate our population, low income, high income, middle income. There is a new master plan of the city. It is based on the concept of sustainable development that all citizens must be given equal chance in urban development, that we must provide uh, people with access to economic and social rights. Okay? The second thing is that it is participatory. So it means, as youth of Mukuru, for you to be able to influence <coughs> the way that plan will address your needs, is that you must be organized and your voice must come through that process. It is starting in November. So you must, you must interrogate the way the city has been developed and unplanned, and how it has catered for you, how it has excluded you, 
who, what other things do you need and make a claim that your place must be provided for in that plan. <coughs> so it will change all, it will address all these things like uh, the, the, the provision of public spaces, uh, the densities that are so outrageous in certain areas. Like Mukuru, I was shocked that the density is 300 uh, uh, households per, per acre, which is uh, uh, almost immoral for us to, 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 to actually allow to prevail. Uh, when, when we have 684 kilometers square of land in the city. Kulingana na fira turingianga kichichi, tukipata wenye walikuwa maashirisha kichichi, walitoonye sanga jinsi ya kupata sehemu ya kuchenga. Ambapo, ilikuwa ni unaenda kwa chief, unalipoti huko kwamba ate unataka kuwa na kanyumba katika sehemu hii. Wanaangalia wakipata kama kuna kauanja unasachenga, wanakuita unakaa chini na wase, wanakuonyesha. Pengine na unatoa kakarama kare kanausiana na ofisi, na pengine kama ni kamuradi, unachini hiyo muradi, una, unatoa raifi ya mbae inafaa. Ndiyo kisha badaa kisha pata, na nuwa tumatirio tuwako, naeka chini, unaita mafundi, na papo hapo unansa ukaa, na pengine ukwalisha. Kama wika moja, stroi cha sisi nasakuwa proti kama 32. Proti moja ina kontaini rumu kumi na moja. Kwa mwezi watu wengi wanga tunalipisha kama alifumbiri, alifumbiri miatano. You all know the Mukuru Greenfields project, 2,000 houses. That money comes from actually savings of slum dwellers uh, across the globe. That comes, it supports groups over here. Some of the money that, that you will save will be invested, and those investments will help groups in Uganda, in Rwanda, in Zimbabwe. So there's an interaction all the time yeah, it's a movement of slum dwellers saying the world is not only about politicians, it's not only about business people, but slum dwellers together can also do things, can do big things. Yeah, this is happening all over the place. This is not just happening here in Nairobi. This is happening, in, in fact, in many cities, in many urban places around the world, um, including... I would argue even in the United States, where people are sometimes being forced out of um, communities that they've lived in because newer, more expensive housing or more expensive biz businesses are, are being built. So it's something that is really affecting people across the world. I think the worst thing that, that happens is that we are not vocal and we stay invisible to the majority of the people who have the decision-making power. If it's, a, if it's a, a private development company, usually they're always working hand in hand with the, the government, either the local government or the national government or somebody, right? So there's always a partnership that's already made there that each of us have to fight against. And so if you make that, that story visible and you make that fight visible, they can't ignore it and they can't say that it's not happening. So you have to bring it to them and you have to be forceful about it. You can't lose, you can't lose energy. It's a long, long fight. It's a long fight, but you can't, you can't lose it. You have to keep, keep your voices. <laughs> Yes, 
All over the world, when you are India, when you are Malaysia, when you are China, all over, you can make it. Nini kama ma youth muna nzanga saizi. Yomba we nyani me muna zabai kadi kama i. Sua sutu se metua uta bai yokadi. Alafu iseva, alafu mushowe. Uta kujakua na kama muna zaku keni kitu. Ababa muna zaku mwa ata kama ni shamba kama i. Alafu pata na place muna zajenga malipa mane. Put yourself in 1952. After 10 years of struggle, independence took a gain. But many of those freedom fighters ended up in slums. So at the end of the day, Munafa Kujuliza, 49 years ago, Kenya will get independence. Bible limit but you have mandate. For 49 years, Ikifika in the history of a country, you blow the trumpet of the Jubilee and you proclaim liberty on issues of land. The only way we can 
get our jubilee. The only way you can secure your children's future is if you engage now. Never, never give up, never leave your good way. Never, never give up, never leave your good way. Never, never give up, never leave your good way. You are suffering, it's only God who knows. You are salvation, it's only God who knows. You are victory, it's only God who knows. Never, never give up. I take a man when he at in my eye. Never, never give up. I take a man when he must give me.